I do not believe in a lot of conspiracy theories, I think, because of the fact that a lot of the things I thought were conspiratorial to think when I was younger turned out to be right. Um, like when yeah. I was younger, I certainly believed that the United States government was actively overthrowing other governments. And then for a little bit there in my like mid teens, I didn't believe that anymore. Cause I was like, no, I mean, I just like was they uneducated. Do that. Yeah, exactly. And then as I, yeah. And then as I got to my early twenties, what would they I, have I, to gain? What would they have to gain from going to war in Afghanistan? Yeah, exactly. And as I got to my early twenties and I started reading shit like the like Jakarta method, right? Like, I mean, then I was like, oh, wait, no, never mind. They totally did that. They did literally all the things I was just yeah. talking about. Like, so I think that those sorts of revelations, um, which are increasingly common for young people in America to have mm -hmm. uh, at increasing paces, I'll give, I'll give them that. Well, that yeah. is, is that why they're banning TikTok is because yeah. those types of information, uh, yes. you think yeah. that's why? It's not about yeah, data. It's not about. No, yeah, no, yeah. there's uh, there, there are. Uh, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't have to bark up this tree with uh, another user of the app necessarily, but I, I will just for your, your viewers here. Mm -hmm. um, if the United States government genuinely cared about data privacy, then we would have yeah. federal level data privacy laws in the United States that are actually comprehensive and we don't. Um, if the United States actually cared about yeah. foreign based advertisers or foreign based companies like having access to American data, there would be a whole host of government contracts that wouldn't even have ever been signed right yeah. like there's so many holes in yeah. every edward, single piece edward of data snowden law. all that stuff yeah yeah exactly right there are so many holes in every piece of logic that yeah. have been thrown at why does why does apple get banned and in reality like it's very obvious to me what it is it's that tiktok actually has proven they can't now control it they can't yeah they can't control it, the flow of information yeah i mean th there have been two big instances now in the last four years where tiktok was used to incite genuine social justice movements that actually began to spread organically once they were off the app yeah. and that's like to a, to a government like the they united can't states have that. It's, yes it's just simply too much of a liability for them yeah it, it it sounds like something that's from a science fiction novel like forcing the sale of a company to a u.s company so that they can c control it. it the whole tiktok thing is is, is absolutely absurd to me Make no and mistake. how fast it got done when whenever they ever moved that fast yeah i mean make no mistake too like the FTC here in the United States has already said that they would not let a social media company in the United States buy TikTok because it, it would literally create a monopoly on, yeah, like on if, social media. Yeah, if X so, or anyone, uh, Instagram and Meta, if any of them bought it, it would be yeah. one, so, one source for all your information. Yeah, so like when stuff like that is out there, right, where you literally have the FTC saying, hey, we will never in a million years let the most likely buyers of this app buy this app. Like that to me gives you all the information you need to know. Like this is not about anything other than control of information, period.